Development and Youth Transformation initiated and flagged off an educational-based project tagged Slum to School. This project, as the envision, will enroll 500 identified children back to school across the CIS Area Council in FCT for a period of five years, with 100 children to be enrolled each year. These categories of children include children who have no access to education, otherwise known as out-of-school children. Also, those who are in school but who need educational supports are included. It is worthy of note that this project emanated from need assessment carried out in the beneficiary communities which ascertained that the adverse effect of COVID-19 in most homes has led to all forms of criminal and terrorist activities, increase in the number of out-of-school children, economic hardship, vulnerability to child abuse, trafficking and labor amongst others. Sequel to this, this project is geared towards mitigating the effect by facilitating access to basic education and empowerment of the caregivers, thus enabling further support to the child's education. The foundation had an engagement with the traditional rulers of Dusepe, Kute, Karoko, Sabon Yongzina, Kaori, Pandanwagi communities or in Bari Area Council of FCT concerning the implementation of this project in their community and community involvement. At the flag of event, 75 identified pupils who were provided with educational materials were enrolled in the program. For the year 2021 running under the project, there has been continued enrollment as further support comes up and the 2022 slum to school identification of new communities will commence in April. A member of the household of East each of the 100 students each year will be trained on entrepreneurial skills and be empowered with a seed grant for start-up. This will enable them to provide for these children and have them continue their education beyond the project direction. For the year 2021, training of these caregivers is underway but with no empowerment due to lack of support. At this point, it is worthy of note that this project is a work in progress. It is not a one-stop project after the flag government and new transformation therefore continue to seek for support and sponsors to successfully achieve this project.
Well, as the name implies, it's about uh, women and youths. So what we do is we try to empower women and youths. You know, a lot of uh, women are skillful. They have uh, many jobs they are doing. Most of them are petty traders. If you come to Nigeria, most women are petty traders. But sometimes these women don't have the finance to start up businesses or to take care of their family. Well, statistics shows that about 10 million children are out of school in Nigeria. And this is a lot. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of, many Nigerians want to go to school. But for the fact that they cannot afford to pay their fees, buy writing materials and other things they, they need for schooling, most of them are out of school. It's not like they don't want to go to school, but even the people who are supposed to take care of them cannot even afford to take care of them in school. So we try to, this event is very essential. It's coming at the right time. COVID-19 has actually made a lot of businesses to close. It has made a lot of people to, to be stranded. It has rendered a lot of families hopeless. So this event is very essential in the sense that we need to support these people. We need to send more children back to school. You can see a lot of these children around. They are brilliant, they are smart, but they cannot afford to go to school because they don't have writing materials, they don't have people to pay their fees and all of that. So this event is very, very important to children like this. So what, what we are going to do is we are going to take 100 children back to school every year for a period of five years. That, that means in five years to come, 500 children will be back to school. What this is going to do is it's going to help reduce crime rate, it's going to help uh, the, these families, it's going to help the country at large. Um, another thing that is very important is the fact that this project is also not just focusing on the children themselves. The family members are also going to be taken care of. We intend to empower some of their parents, some of their uncles, some of their siblings to ensure that um, they are able to continue from wherever we are going to stop. So that's what the program is about. As an NGO, we are doing the much we can, but we still need support from family and friends, from donors, from other NGOs, even from the government. I mean, you cannot tell the government to do everything, but sometimes the government needs to just come to aid the government just needs to come and help NGOs like this because what we are doing is something that is good for everybody in the society. If these children go back to school and they are well educated and they are sane enough for the society, the government wouldn't have to worry about insecurity, they wouldn't have to worry about out of school children and all other vices that are just random in Nigeria.